Hello everybody, let's do the step one of installing the UniX prop. So the first step to do is in fact to check if our environment is set up correctly. And to do that we will should run node version, npm version and git version. So I will copy these three and they should I will open a command line a terminal or so yeah node version is 9.3.0 the good version and the npm version and git version so I will also run npm version yeah and this is the npm version so we have everything installed uh, and the next step according to the documentation is to install expo following these guidelines so all you have to do is download the expo id xd and as soon as you install it you should have something like this you should log in with your username create it's free to use and after we have uh, expo there the next thing to do is to download the actual source code i have download on my desktop so I will extract it. Okay, let me show you how it's on the desktop. Uh, okay, and here. Okay, so we have this folder, and in this folder we have uh, the admin panel, the demo data, which is this is the app demo data, the link to the documentations, the mobile app. This is what we need so far, and some additional scripts that we. Uh, need for some apps and I will extract the mobile app folder so I will have this folder I will rename it to uni expo and I can put everywhere since it doesn't depend really where it's located and I have this folder now so what I will do is open in iterm or any command line and according to the documentation all I have to do is npm install so I will do that so just to check where I am yeah package.json is here that's the important one and I will run a node an npm install and the install takes 5 to 10 minutes so I will pause the video and continue later on okay after a few minutes everything is installed all the modules that we need and as you can see now in the folder we have the node modules folder so this is all the node modules that npm should install and right after that according to documentation you need to open the uh, existing project from expo and i will do just that so my project is on the on desktop and i will open it the name is UniApp, you can rename it. Yeah, that, that will be smart thing to do. So uh, all the configuration uh, regarding the uh, name of the, uh, the expo, and it's here in app.json. And you can rename it with your name, your change the icon, the description, the slug, and yeah those are the things and you can override the icon uh, okay and after we had the the project there it's on online so you can play with these things and the next thing is to preview on device uh, for development i will suggest host then use local host so this run locally only and not publicly accessible okay so and it's i think it's faster open on a simulator this should start your uh, simulator or connect your device and preview an android device directly okay and as soon as the app starts we, sh we should see a blank information screen page of the app just to confirm that export and all the modules are running correctly so now the uh, the javascript bundle is building so this uh, builds all the node projects and the first time takes a while but 
the rest of the while you're in development it's quite fast okay seventy percent here is your lock console this is the build console so any build error you will see here any uh, system error by the app logic will be displayed here and yeah here is our app this is information screen like I said that you need to do additional configuration in order to make the app but with this we are fin finalizing the first step of the installation of the app and that's uh, installing all the modules and open the project in expo thanks for watching